Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In the previous video of this playlist, we talked about how to mentally calculate squares of numbers from 1 to 125. As you can see, this is what we did last time. Today we will talk about special techniques that can be used. These methods are generally easier than the normal method and can also work for squares greater than 125. Let's start off with special techniques for squaring numbers that end in 5. Let a equal to x by 10 minus 5. You're basically just removing the 5 from the end of x. And by the way, x is a number that you want to square. Let x squared equal to 100 times a times a plus 1 plus 25. You're basically just adding a 25 to the end of a times a plus 1. You're not like adding it to, but you just have to just put it at the end of. Let's try some examples. Remove the 5 from 35 to get 3. To get your answer, you multiply 3 times 4, which is 12, and add 2, 5 at the end. So 35 squared is 1, 2, 2, 5. Let's try 85 squared. Remove the 5, remove the five to get 8. Multiply it by 8 plus 1, which is 9, to get 72, and add 2, 5 the end to get your answer, so 85 squared is 7225. Let's try 125 squared. Remove the 5 to get 12. 12 times 12 plus 1 or 13 is 156. Add 2 5 at the end to get your answer, so 125 squared is 15625. Now let's try, now let me tell you of how to of some special techniques for squaring numbers that end in zero. Let's try some. Well, first, let me talk about the method. Let a equal to x by 10. You're basically just removing the zero from the end. Let your answer or x squared equal to 100a squared. Basically, just add two zeros to the end of a squared. Let's try some examples. So 130. You remove the zero to get 13. Square root to get 169. Add two zeros to get your answer. So 130 squared is 16900. Zero, zero. I'll try 210 squared. Remove the, the zero to get 21. 21 squared is 441. Add two zeros at the end to get your answer. As you can see, this is a lot easier than the previous method. Let's try 230 squared. Remove the zero to get 23. Square root to get 529. Add two zeros at the end to get your answer. As you can see right now, I'm writing steps, but later on, if you get used to it, you can be able to do this in your head just like I can. Let's try. Now let's work on calculating the next square based on the previous square. If x is the previous number, then the square of the next number is simply x squared plus x plus 1, or as I like to think of it, as x squared plus 2x plus 1. Let's try some examples. So we know 200 squared with the zero technique is 4 with 4 zeros. Now, 2 times 200 is 400, and add 1, and now you add it to get 40401. Let's try 501 squared. 500 squared using the zero method is 2, 5. It's four zeros. 500 times 2 is 1,000. Add 1 to get 1,001. Your answer will be 2, 5, 1, 0, 0, 1. Let's try 1,001 squared. 1,000 squared is 1 million, or 1 with 6 zeros. Now you add it to 1,000. As you can see, I'm doing both things. You can either double it and add 1, or you could just do x and x plus 1 in this case. So I'm alternating. So then 1,000 doubled is 2,000. Then you add it to 1. I generally prefer this method that I'm doing right now, but you can choose any. 
So you add it, you get one zero zero two zero zero one. Sorry, it's not turning. Okay. Similarly, we can also do this for calculating the previous square based on the next square. If x is the next number, then the square of the previous number is simply x squared minus x minus 1, or as I like to think of it, it's x squared plus minus 2x plus 1. Let's try some examples. So, so x is 200. 200 squared is 4 with 4 zeros. Now we subtract 2 times of 200, which is 400, and then you add 1. You get 39601. So 199 squared is 39601. Let's try 499 squared. So x is 500. 500 squared is 25 with 4 zeros. And then you subtract 500 times 2, which is 1,000, and you add 1. So you get 249,001. So 499 squared is 249,001. Let's try 999 squared. Let me just try to put a line there. So x is 1,000. 1,000 squared is 1 with 6 zeros, or 1 million, you could say, too. Now you subtract 2 times of 1,000, or 2,000, and then you add 1. You get... nine nine eight. Let me just erase that. So... You get nine nine eight thousand zero zero one. So nine hundred ninety nine squared is nine nine eight zero zero one. Now let's do a recap. If you haven't watched my previous video yet, you should go ahead and watch that before watching this because I'm going to use both concepts for this video, like both concepts from both videos. So let's start. 43 lies between 25 and 50, so we use the rule for between 25 and 50. 43 minus 25 is 18. 15 minus 43 is 7. Add two zeros to the end, and add it to 7 squared, which is 49. You get 1849, or 1849. Let's try 59 squared. 59 lies between 50 and 75. So you use the rule between 50 and 75. 59 minus 50 is 9. 9 plus 25 is 3, 4. Add two zeros to the end and add it to 9 squared, which is 81. You get 3, 4, 8, 1. So 59 squared is 3, 4, 8, 1. Let's try 82 squared. 82 lies between 75 and 100. So we use the rule between 75 and 100. 100 minus 82 is 18. You double to get 36. 100 minus 36 is 64. Add two zeros to the end and add it to 18 squared, which is 324. As a result, you get 6724. So 82 squared is 6724. Let's try 108 squared. Subtract. I mean, 108 minus 100 is 8. Double it to get 16. 16 plus 100 is 116. Add it to 8 squared. Add to 0 to the end first before. 8 squared, which is 64. And you should get 11664. So 108 squared is 11664. Let's try 145 squared. This goes for the special technique that for all... Numbers that end in 5. Move the 5 to get 14. So 14 times 15. This might seem a little hard to calculate at first, but you could just do 14 times 10, which is 140, and add it to 14 times 5, which is 70. 
140 plus 70 is 210. So 14 times 15 is 210. And then as usual, you add two fives to the end. So 145 squared is 21025. Let's try 160 squared. This goes for the zero rule. Remove the zero to get 16. Square it to get 256. Add the zeros at the end to get your answer. So 160 squared is 25600. Zero, zero. Let's try 601 squared. So x in this case would be 600. 600 squared is 3 six is 4 zeros. Add it to 1200 or 1200. Zero, zero. And Additionally, add 1 to get 361201. Let's try 399 squared. This applies for the last rule, which is calculating the previous square based on the next square. So x is 400. 400 squared is 1 6 with 4 zeros. Subtract 400 times 2, which is 800. Add 1 and get 159201. So 399 squared is 159201. That's pretty much all for this video. Spiral review. Here are a few questions to test your understanding of today's video. Post your answers in the comment section of this video. You may use the table of scares from 1 to 25 to help you. So remember I have this, I'm going to have this link in the comment section so you can print it, download it, do whatever you want with it. And you can work on these problems and feel free to post it, your answers in the comment section. Bye!